Hello my dear friend, I'm glad to see you on the Tech Vector channel. The iPad Pro is an amazing device for anyone who consumes content or works with graphics. But in the near future we will have a brand new iPad with an even large display size. I collected all the leaks and rumors about this and in this video let's discuss them. But first I ask you to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so as not to miss my new videos. Apple is reportedly developing an iPad Pro with a 14.1 inch mini LED display, according to display supply chain consults analyst Ross Young. On Twitter, Young claimed that this larger iPad Pro model will feature a mini LED display and promotion like the current 12.9 inch iPad Pro. The rumors were first shared by the hit and miss Twitter leaker known as Majin Boo who said that Apple is developing a 14.1-inch iPad Pro model with the M2 chip. Configured with 512GB of storage and 16GB of RAM in a base model. Majin Boo also mentioned the other upcoming iPad Pro models, saying that no major change are expected for the 11-inch model, while 12.9-inch model may feature slimmer bezels around the display. And you can see all the latest rumors about iPad 2022 and iPad Pro 2022 in my other video videos in tips. As mentioned by Majin Boo, new iPad OS 16 features such as Stage Manager and Display Zoom suggest that there is a clear use case for an iPad Pro with an even larger display. Young now seems to have supported Majin Boo's rumors about the existence of a 14.1 inch iPad Pro. But recently Ross Young updated information about the new iPad. He confirmed it from his supply chain sources and Apple is uh, still planning uh, a new 14.1 inch iPad Pro, but he has since revised uh, his forecast uh, and now believes uh, the device could be a standard iPad, not a Pro version. Young confirmed that the 14-inch iPad will not have a mini LED display after all. He also said the 14-inch iPad is unlikely to feature ProMotion, leading him to believe that the device may not be branded as the iPad Pro, given that all iPad Pro models released since 2017 feature ProMotion. It sounds rather odd that Apple's largest iPad would not be a Pro model. But Young has accurately revealed many details about future Apple products, so we'll have a see how this rumor plays out. Apple will likely release the iPad in the first quarter in 2023, he said. One thing that we can be fairly certain of is that the new 14-inch iPad will use the most recent Apple Silicon that's designed for iPads and Macs alike M2. But it's also also destined for iPads of various designations as well. This new 14-inch device is likely to use an M2. The same chip is also likely to power the 2022 iPad Pro 2. A new 14-inch display would make uh, this uh, the largest uh, iPad ever made, by some margin. The current iPad Pro tops out at 12.9 inches and uses mini-LED technology and promotion for battery smooth scrolling. Interesting, if this is indeed a traditional iPad, will it pack a home button or will we get uh, an iPad Air situation, where the home button is removed in favor of Touch ID? Taking a new home in the power Button? That's something we're yet to really hear much about. Little is known about what kinds of storage options we should expect from such a large tablet. But we can only hope that Apple will finally ditch the 64GB option. It's time, right? One early report Majin Bu suggested that the tablet will start at 512GB. But that seems unlikely unless the device sits atop the iPad Pro lineup. The the price of such a large iPad is an interesting one, something that uh, has been missing from leaks and rumors. As guidance, the current 10.2-inch iPad starts at uh, $329 for a 64GB model. 
Whereas the 12.9 inch iPad Pro starts at $1,099. That's a huge window, but the only thing we can be fairly sure of right now is uh, that this device will sit somewhere between the two. What do you think about the huge 14 inch iPad? Would you like one like this? And what do you think about the price? Write your answer in the comments below this video. These were new leaks and rumors about a 14 inch iPad. Of course, this may not be 100% reliable information, since we will know the exact information only after the official presentation. But if you, like me, are a fan of Apple's news products and want to know what awaits us first, then like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell, so as not to miss my new videos. See you soon!